Today's read aloud about the human body is called a well-balanced diet. Let's take a moment to review. What are the four basic nutrients needed by the human body? Water, carbohydrates, protein, and fats. What other two nutrients does the body need in smaller amounts? Vitamins and minerals. Today you're going to learn more about each one of these nutrients so that you'll be better able to plan healthy meals for yourself. Let's take a look at some vocabulary words in our read aloud today. The first word is fiber. Fiber is the part of plant foods that your body can't digest or absorb. The next word is scan. To look around an area quickly. And the last word is variety. A range of different things. Close your eyes and imagine your favorite grocery store. Think about your favorite aisles and what food you like to put in your grocery cart. I want you to listen carefully to find out in which area of the grocery store you should spend most of your time and why. Let's begin. If you could eat whatever you wanted, what would you choose? Would it be a breakfast meal of cereal, orange juice, and toast? Pancakes loaded with butter and syrup with a side of bacon or sausage? Perhaps you choose a juicy hamburger with french fries and slaw. What about pizza or shrimp lo mein? Maybe you'd favor enchiladas or savlaki. Or would you choose a fish taco and tomato soup? You each have different favorites, I'm sure. Hopefully, as you learn more about nutrition and the nutrients your body needs, you will begin to think more about what you eat, making wise choices so that you can maintain a healthy body throughout your life. Providing the body with the nutrients it needs is an essential part of staying healthy. Have you ever heard someone say, variety is the spice of life? That usually means that you should spend your time doing lots of different things, but it holds true for your diet as well. You've learned that the body needs variety, a variety of nutrients that come from a variety of foods. Your body makes most of its building blocks from proteins and carbohydrates, but it needs fats and lots of water too. And don't forget about vitamins and minerals. They're nutrients too. The best way to make sure that you are getting all the nutrients you need is to eat a well-balanced diet. What do you suppose that means? Well, for one thing, it means you don't have to give up your favorite foods, even if they may not be the healthiest ones on the planet. Just don't eat pizza or fried chicken at every meal. My dad used to say, eat in moderation. He meant that I shouldn't eat too much or too little of any one thing. I love chocolate chip cookies so much that I could easily eat a whole batch, but I had to learn to eat slowly and be satisfied with one or two. Balancing your diet with lots of different foods is important. Think about all the different nutrients your body needs. These nutrients come from a variety of foods. A well-balanced diet includes grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy, meats, and fish and fats. Do you remember which one of the four basic nutrients is contained in grains? Carbohydrates or fats? Right, carbohydrates. Grains also contain small amounts of protein and fats, but carbohydrates make up the largest amount of nutrients in grains. There is a lot of variety when it comes to choosing a grain for dinner. Grains include rice, pasta, 
bread, and cereal. Think of all the many types of pasta alone. Spaghetti, macaroni, penne, and rigatoni. The list goes on and on. If you have a choice between brown rice and white rice, brown contains more nutrients. The same is true of breads. Whole wheat bread is better for you than white bread. When choosing a cereal, find one that isn't loaded with extra sugar. You learn that the body needs energy and that most of its energy comes from carbohydrates. That's because the body breaks down large carbohydrates, like the starch in potatoes or spaghetti, into smaller carbohydrates like sugar, which contains a lot of energy that the body can use. Table sugar comes from the roots and stems of plants, like sugar beets and sugar cane, and will give you instant energy. But the kind of sugars found in potatoes and pasta are much better for you than digging into the sugar bowl or reaching for a candy bar. Both give you energy, but candy gives you a quick burst of energy that is gone soon, whereas the energy in potatoes and pasta lasts much longer because it is released into your body much more slowly. If you're hungry, a baked potato will satisfy your hunger much longer than a handful of chocolate candy. What other foods are rich in carbohydrates? Yes, fruits and vegetables. Apples, bananas, carrots, and broccoli, they all provide your body with energy. Just like grains, the natural breakdown of sugar from a fresh piece of fruit is far better for you than a hot fudge sundae. Choose a naturally sweet tasting beet or an ear of sweet corn over eating a teaspoonful of sugar from the sugar bowl. The next time you go to the grocery store, scan or look quickly around the produce section for some fruits and vegetables that you may not have tried. Have you ever tried kohlrabi or kiwi fruit? Remember, variety is the spice of life. In the lesson on the digestive system, you learned that the body was not able to process some foods and so they leave the body as waste. Fiber, a very important carbohydrate, is one kind of waste. Fiber is the part of plant foods that your body can't digest or absorb. Since your body cannot digest it, fiber is not a nutrient, but a good diet should include lots of fiber to help keep things moving along the digestive tract. Oranges, pears, berries, peas, and nuts will give you the fiber that you need. Meat, fish, eggs, and dairy are all good sources of protein, and they are all animal products. Some people are vegetarians, meaning that they do not eat meat. And some people are vegans, meaning they do not eat or use any animal products such as eggs, cheese, milk, or meat. We know how important protein is for the growth and repair of our bodies. So are there other ways for vegetarians or vegans to get the protein they need? Yes, indeed. Certain combinations of grains, corn, and beans contain all the protein that your body needs. Good combinations include beans and brown rice, hummus and pita bread, or lentils with a green salad. Nuts are rich in protein too, as are all soybean products like tofu and soy milk. Yogurt is another good source of protein. Just limit the sweetened flavor varieties because of the added sugars. Let's not forget the fats in your well-balanced diets. Meat and dairy products contain lots of fats, and butter and oils are nearly 100% fat. They are the backup energy source when your body needs a boost, but most of the fat you need is already stored in your body. Each day, you only need the amount of fat contained in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil to keep your body healthy. Many of us eat much more than that. Fat is a little like sugar. It contains important nutrients, 
but they are very few compared to other foods. Foods rich in vitamins like fresh fruits and vegetables are a much better choice than greasy fried foods made with lots of fat. Too much fat can make you overweight and cause damage to your heart and blood. Have you ever heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Do you know why? The word breakfast means to break the fast. You fast or don't eat every night when you sleep. That's a long time to go without food. Both your body and your brain need to be recharged in the morning. So you need to break the fast with breakfast. Without food, you may feel tired and grumpy because you don't have all the energy you need to get going in the morning. You may stumble over math problems, thinking five plus seven equals 20, or skip over a line in your reader so that your sentences are all mumbo jumbo. Think about starting every day with some healthy proteins and carbohydrates so that both your body and your brain are at their best. Generally speaking, the fresher the food, the better it is for you. That is why it makes sense to spend more time in the produce aisle of the grocery store instead of stocking up on packaged foods like potato chips, canned spaghetti, and frozen chicken nuggets. These processed foods often have lots of added salts and sugars and are stripped of the vitamins and minerals that your body needs. If you do choose packaged foods, make a habit of checking the labels on the outside wrappers before adding them to your cart. Food labels tell how big a serving is, which essential nutrients are provided, and the quantities of each nutrient per serving. It is important to limit the amount of food eaten that is high in sodium, sugar, or fat. Check out the label from a can of soda. Did you know that there are 10 teaspoons of sugar in one soda? Sodas have no nutritional value, cause tooth decay, and put on unhealthy pounds. What would be a better choice of beverage? Water is always best, but milk and fruit juices contain vitamins and minerals, so they are good choices too, in small amounts. The next time you go to the grocery store, look in your grocery cart and see if the foods you've chosen are part of a well-balanced diet. Remember to eat a variety of foods with more fruits and vegetables than anything else. Next time you eat a big plate of macaroni and cheese, think about adding twice as many dark leafy greens to your plate. Here are some discussion questions. Feel free to pause the video in order to allow time to think and discuss. In which area of the grocery store will you find the healthiest foods? Why are fresh foods better for you than processed foods? Pretend that you just ate a meal that consisted of fried fish, a baked potato and butter, green beans, and a glass of milk. Which of the four basic nutrients did you consume and from which foods? You learned that fiber, the part of fruits, vegetables, and grains that cannot be digested and becomes body waste, is an important carbohydrate. Why is fiber so important if the body cannot use it for nutrients? Vegetarians do not eat meat, and vegans do not eat any animal products, including meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. These foods are all rich sources of protein. So how do vegetarians or vegans get the protein they need? Athletes need lots of energy before sporting events. Which one of the four basic nutrients will provide them with the most of the energy they need?
Pretend that for an after-school snack, you are offered soda, a bag of chips, a cup of almonds, a strawberry-flavored carton of yogurt, and an apple. Which of these items is the healthiest for you and why?